With the coming of a brand new Valorant season, also brings a completely changed agent meta, with some of the most important agents from last year seeing drastic shifts due to all the different types of buffs and nerfs over the long off season. So I wanted to show you the biggest changes in each map in the pool right now, from how the game was played in Champions last year to now in the regional kickoff tournaments. And really, it's pretty shocking what is happening in a lot of these regions, because the meta might be the most diverse it's ever been in all of Valorant history. Also, little disclaimer, I'm not factoring in the Chinese League to the meta and pick rates, since what is happening in that region is truly the Wild West of Valorant. So I'll be making a video all about Chinese Valorant soon, so make sure you're subscribed for that with notifications on so you don't miss out. Before we get into the meta changes on each map, I want to go over the patches that led to these shifts, because there have been 15 patches since the end of Champs to the current patch and kickoff, but I'll go through them quickly. So the first big change that everyone's been talking about is the change to the most picked initiator, Sky, who got her flashes nerfed greatly in patch 8.01, just weeks before the kickoff of the season. This nerf got rid of the recharge her flashes got, instead limiting her to two, equal to the flashing power of other initiators like KO, who were being overshadowed, as well as getting rid of the ability to fake flash, limiting the amount of trickery the agent had previously. Another major change through the offseason had been the continued nerfing a Jet, which we saw earlier in the offseason with her losing an updraft, while also having a smaller dash window, which is in an effort to promote more use of agents like Yoru and Phoenix, who had been overlooked for far too long. But I went into depth about the changes and other nerfs and buffs that Jet has had through the history of Valorant in a video recently, which you can check out here. There was also the nerf on KJ, which saw her turret range being limited, covering less some space than before, severely hurting her sight anchoring ability that made her the most picked agent in Champions. But overall, these were the major changes we saw over the six month long offseason. Let's first get into the agent meta and maps that were just recently released back into the map pool. First with the newest map, Sunset, which we got to see some play of in the off season, but the comps were all over the place with teams scrambling to figure out what was the best five agents to choose. And it seems there are a few agents right now that are must picks on the map. All throughout the three regions, it's been figured out that you need Rays as your sole duelist and Viper slash Omen as your doubled smokes. This is because of how similar in characteristics that Sunset has with another Rays double smokes map, Bind, because of the tight corridors and wide spaces that these agents excel at. With these three agents chosen together over 45% of the matches in all of kickoff, the only different variations of this have been NRG having Demon 1 on Jet rather than Raze, as he's been known to feel uncomfortable on the satchel jumping agent. Or other teams use double duelists, aggressive comps like C9's Yoru or Raze. The main variation of this comp has been revolved around which is the best initiator to use, as every single initiator has been used within the first few times it was played. The craziest sunset comp we have seen has of course come from Paper Rex, with him ditching any dive agents like Raze or Jet, instead going for two initiators with KO and Gecko, as well as Viper Omen, and the unique pick a Sage to finish it out. They won the map 13 to seven, but right now here are the pick rates throughout all of Valorant. Next onto a map that desperately needed a rework, Icebox, who before its removal from the map pool was becoming extremely stale, with every team pretty much playing the same comp, but have the patches and map changes mixed up the meta on this frozen map? Well, right now, there's still a lot of consistency from the last time we saw Icebox, as Viper, KJ, Jet, and Sova are still must picks for most teams, but the main variation has been who do you have instead of Sage. Instead, teams have been trying to run double smokes with Harbor, as he has a lot of large sightline cutting abilities with the walls he creates on site, as well as the cove taking over the role of the sage wall when planting the spike. A few teams have been experimenting with Gecko, who had been seeing more and more play in the meta, as his rechargeable util makes him powerful in the wide sites, allowing him to get a lot of information early and rechargeable ability to be used when they actually hit a site, as well as his wingman being the perfect tool to plant, which allows players to not have to sacrifice someone to being killed for every plant, like Sage used to go through. But right now, there are two teams that have really tried to push the Icebox meta to a whole different direction. That being Leviathan and Foot, who completely threw out their old comps with Lev going still with the Viper KJ Sova combo, but adding Harbor as well as Reyna, as Aspas jumped on the agent on map 3 against 100 Thieves, where he put up 24 kills to close out the match. While Foot went even crazier, with them only picking the stable picks of Viper and Sova, and went for another info gatherer in Fade, with Chamber taking over the sight anchoring of KJ, while only picking Phoenix as their duelist. So did this insane comp work? 
not even close, as they lost 8-13 to to Giants, as CNET was never really able to get the chamber activated, as the closer to standard comp that Giants were running were able to force them off of angles, where they had to play the retake, which didn't work for this type of comp. And on the attack, they didn't have any agent that could take up space reliably, as they instead had to hope that Giants would overextend and give an easy pick to Foot, which rarely happened in the match. So this experiment from Foot to mix up the Icebox meta completely failed. But right now, these are the pick rates throughout Valorant. Lastly, in the newly added maps to the pool, we look at the recently reworked Breeze. And this is the map I've been most excited about with the changes, as the meta is definitely changing for the better. Of course, Viper is still a must pick, as her Viper's Pit is so overpowered on this map, as sites haven't gotten any less open, which has led to teams picking up one of the initiators that have a scan like Sover and KO. But where the meta has really changed is with the duelists, as Yoru has become the main meta in the Pacific and EMEA, as players like Artist, Something, and Buzz have all utilized the agent to great success. And when using Yoru, who has flashes, they have gone away from the use of KO in favor of a second smokes in Harbor to help with cutting sightlines off. But even with these changes in other regions, the Americas so far have just stuck with the basics with Jet, Cypher, KO, Sova, and Viper. But right now, these are the pick rates. Now onto the maps that have stuck around from last season, where we can really compare the changes directly from champs to now. First, we go to my favorite map right now, Bind. So last year it became pretty straightforward, with over 90% of teams and champs picking the combo of Rays, Vipers, Sky, and Brimstone, with the fifth agent being whatever fit the individual team the best. Sometimes it was Chamber in order to have an AWP without Omen and Jet, but overall it had been pretty consistent. But with the nerf to Sky, Bind was shaken up a bit with Gecko and KO being picked more in each region, as Gecko is perfect to clear massive space on site with his mosh pit, while KO now has just as many flashes as Sky, but better info gathering as his knife regenerates, which is needed in a map that can cause rounds to run down to the wire. And in EMEA, there have been some experimenting with more initiators like Sova, Fade, Breach, with varying success. Outside of the initiators, more duelists have threatened Raze's stranglehold on the map. And while she's still the meta pick, teams have been using Yoru, Jet, and even Phoenix and Neon. While it's clear that those other duelists can be viable on this map, Raze is still a must pick for most teams as she can explode from these tight choke points better than any other agent right now, which will continue her over 80% pick rate. Right now, here are the pick rates of every other agent. Moving to another must pick for Raze, we go to Split, which has not changed as Raze has been picked by every single team so far, with Omen and Viper being picked consistently as well. Even with the nerf, Sky still can be seen in good amounts of comps, as her flashes are still good to clear sights here. In both Americas and Pacific, there haven't been too many changes with this map, but in the EMEA, they've been leaning more and more towards Breach and Fade, cutting out Astra almost completely, where previously, she'd been picked 60% of the time. But right now, here are the pick rates. Let's move now to a map that started to feel the effects of stagnation, with most of the meta on this map being must picks towards the end of the last year, that being Lotus. And for Lotus, a lot of the meta from last year has shifted over to now, with Omen, Viper, Raze, KJ, and Fade being consistent picks, with Sky swapping sometimes with Fade. But the biggest changes have been the teams that have been trying out different Sentinels, with DRX and Global utilizing Cypher, which can work due to good spots for his trips and cages on B and C. But for now, KJ still looks like the best pick, with her lockdown being too good to pass up on both attack and defense. So here are the pick rates for the agents right now. And lastly, we are on one of the longest running maps in the map pool, Ascent, which for most teams is a fully figured out map as a lot of teams just run the same comp they had in the previous year, but there have been some interesting innovations on a map thought to be already optimized. The normal comp is still KO, Sova, Jet, Omen, and KJ, but teams like Loud have really changed it up with the addition of Phoenix, which I went into more detail over in my video about the match between Loud and Sentinels, which you can check out here, as well as Paper Rex using the wacky comp of Rays, Viper, Omen, Fade, and Gecko, which they won 13-6 against T1. Overall, the comp is pretty much the same from last year with a few changes that could be interesting to see as they get more and more refined and as teams try it out, as there's some pretty good combos as we saw with the Fade Rays usage by Paper Rex. Overall, the meta is in a pretty good place for the early season as there are only a few agents that are being disproportionately picked and there are clear changes they can make to resolve them without nerfing them to oblivion like Chamber. 
Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video throughout the VCT season, as I'll be releasing videos with stats that no other person on YouTube is talking about. You won't want to miss out.